Where do you stand now? The, the Adam 22 interview that happened on Joe Budden's podcast, you know, who is, um, I guess, whose side are you on ultimately from that discussion? Well, I would probably, I agree with what they're coming at Adam for. Mm -hmm. I, so I'm probably, you know, ironically enough, it's like I'm probably on their side, but it's more, the thing about it is, is that it's just like the, the, even though they, it's like they may be right when you zoom in, if you look at the bigger picture, it's just hypocritical because it's like, how can you have that energy for Adam and then Fetty Wap is a victim? Mm. Like it's some, like accountability is very, very important. And if people are not held accountable for their actions, they're, they're liable to feel that they're, they're not capable of, of, choice like if you if you're constantly thinking you're a victim of circumstance you don't feel the need to make better choices so if you're not going to hold people a- accountable and you're just everyone is always to blame it's never the person yeah okay adam are you going to say he's capitalizing but why should that what about the person that's doing <laughs> the beef i agree no smoke for him yeah, if you are successful legitimately, you're dumb as fuck for doing illegal activity that can compromise all of that. That's what it comes down to for me. Stop giving people passes because you're saying black people are stupid. Black people have invented a culture, primarily black people, some Puerto Ricans were involved and some other races were around, but hip pop is black culture more than any more than anybody. Secondly, it would be the Puerto Ricans. But for the most part, Black people created a culture that changed everything. Everything. Not just music. Changed everything. Influenced. People are inspired and influenced by hip-hop that don't even know they're hip-hop. They're fucking racist and they're using terminology and wearing things that are inspired by black people. They don't even know it. Don't tell me that these people don't have the fucking, uh, the, 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 the cognizance, if that's, if I'm using the right word, to know what the fuck they're doing, to know a good choice from a bad choice. I don't, I don't, I don't buy into that. You know what I'm saying? Like the way you speak comes black people. So it's, it, it, it stop framing like, like, Black people are like, like, oh, they're, they're just victims. A victim is somebody who's like, like, to be victimized, you have to like not know any better. Like if, if, if I can make a victim out of you strategically, it's like you just like, you're kind of a dummy. That It has that undertone of that. There are people that don't like black people that don't even know that they're doing shit that came from black people. Exactly. That's the power of hip hip hop changed everything. So so when when we when we speak as if these artists that they didn't know any better and they're just victims, yo, like it 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 takes a certain level of intelligence to be successful and to succeed at something. Mm-hmm. You know, it even takes a certain level of intelligence to be a successful like success. Period takes a, a certain degree of intelligence. So even if you're a successful drug dealer. Right. And now we may have to, what constitutes a successful drug dealer? If you got caught, maybe you weren't so successful, you know. But to follow the, the intelligence involved in starting something and, and, and finishing it, you know, like there, there's, just, there's an unspoken in, in, in intelligence about that. I mean, to just have the, the wherewithal to complete a task, especially one of making yourself a celebrity. You know, there, there's, there's people who fall through the cracks and who, who but, but no matter how you slice it, even, even if you look at like the, the Island Boys, right? Stupid, silly gimmick, right? I'm gonna keep it like an Island Boy. Yeah. <laughs> it's catchy. It's stupid, <laughs> all right? It's stupid, silly, and it's probably, uh, you know, dying if it ain't already dead or whatever. 
it's still, they were able to do something and it worked. I, when I see things that work, more interested than me going, what's wrong with it is I'm, I'm more attracted to what's right with it. What, why, why did that work? Like, and even looking at it like, well, hey, they had the fucking courage to put them. I, I'm more of an optimist than, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I just, I, it's hard for me to buy into the whole now I can understand that if you are taking, you know, I, I have to be honest, there are kids that are in the street that are in a state of, they are like asleep. They are very much like zombies. And then before you know it, they doing street shit and they doing music shit and it starts to take off and all of that. But that's where there has to be, it should be made so that when they think about music, making music, they're not thinking about, oh, I'm going to talk about banging and I'm going to talk about moving at work because they need to feel like this is the shit that probably won't work. 